This program is a presentation of UCTV for educational and non-commercial use only. Check out our YouTube original channel, UCTV Prime, at youtube.com slash UCTV Prime. Subscribe today to get new programs every week. From the University of California at Davis, this is News Watch. The Centers for Disease Control and Prevention estimates that every year about 2,000 Americans are hospitalized and about 60 die as a direct result of E. coli infections. Foods that have been sources of contamination include ground beef and a host of leafy green vegetables. It would be very difficult to create a perfectly sterile food product if we want to eat fresh and we want to eat raw or minimally processed. UC Davis is examining fecal samples of wildlife to determine if the dangerous E. coli called O157 is present. What I've found is that we have a lot of wildlife that have generic um, bacteria such as E. coli. But for the more pathogenic strains such as O157 or Salmonella, it's a less common occurrence. Conjecture that manure is driving these outbreaks is not supported by research. Instead, wildlife pose the greatest risk to contaminating vegetables. Keeping our food safe is so important because the malicious contamination of food for terrorist purposes is a threat that governments cannot ignore. Atwill says it would be very difficult to safeguard every food item that is grown in the U.S. If we're worried about pathogens and foodborne outbreaks entering the food supply, first and foremost, how do they even get in? Is it processing? And we need more tricks on how to inactivate whatever gets on the product during that event, or is it during distribution? More than 100 researchers at UC Davis are working to minimize microbial hazards from the farm to the fork. Paul Fodenauer reporting from UC Davis. For more information, please log on to broadcast.ucdavis.edu.